Okay, I'm starting a run of uh, Featherus 3s. Thought I'd show you. So I just did some tweaks before the run. Hopefully I haven't messed anything up. So I moved the button all the way over there temporarily. So it's got all that travel time to get a button over, which is um, unfortunate, but I need to bring the button further this way. And I don't have time to reorder everything. So I've just left it there for now. See what it's doing here. PCB or circuit number. Just piece it out of a panel. 190 something parts out of 945 so far. There's 15 circuits on the panel. I'm pausing on this. A little bit. I've got um, two parts that sometimes they uh, they don't pick great. So they're the pockets in the embossed plastic are massive for the part. The part moves around heaps. It never used to be that way, but the last bunch I got from them were just it's terrible. So I have to slow it right down just in case you grab the part near the side of it um, as it spins it around to measure it. I didn't want it to lose control of it, so I slowed it down a bit. Probably a little bit too much, that's okay. I mean, we're already at 480 odd, so we're past halfway. Now this was, or, yeah, was a 15 and a half to 16 minute panel on the near end. So it'll be interesting to see what this runs out now that it's been optimised after my tweaks I've made. So it's just uh, past 600 or 620, 630. So it's moving pretty quick. Seven hundred. Uh, seven seventy five. About to do a nozzle change, I think. Past eight hundred. Okay, it's having a problem with the part. My LDO, it seems, for some reason. So you can see here that it says the empty component on the LDO. I'm gonna just have a look, maybe the cover tape is over it. No, doesn't look like it. They definitely look like, look like they're there. So let me just tell it to retry go. I should just try to grab it again. Yep, okay. So I've got it to fail after one attempt. On the near end it would try it three times before it failed. So there is a nozzle change. And the problem is if it was a legitimate fail it would just be throwing parts everywhere. Or sorry, if it was an illegitimate fail it would just be picking up and throwing parts everywhere. So I've set this conservatively to one fail. So I don't waste parts. Okay, eight, past 870. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot to push the USBs down on this one. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, 9, 22, 23. About to start the last part, which is the JST connector. I'm doing them by themselves because they've got a weird pickup on them because of the slots. But if I get more nozzles, I can do more, probably two at a time or more. And there we go. So there's the board. I'm going to push the USBs down. Otherwise, that should be all good. And time was 4.43. So, 16 minutes, down to 4.43. Not quite four times the speed improvement, but should be, I mean, I'm gonna check it properly, should be 100% placement. I need to look under the microscope just to check it. And if that's good, I'll send off a batch. But I'm pretty happy.